What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna to be talking about some pretty cool guns. We're gonna be going over the top five double single action pistols. Double single action pistols have been very popular all the way throughout history, and maybe a little bit less so in modern day, but you still have a lot of fans. And I think that some of the best guns on the market are double single action, so I'm pretty excited to talk about them today, including some of my favorite pistols of all time. Now, before we get started, what is a double single action pistol? Well, it is a pistol that can shoot double action. So if we pull the trigger to the rear, it fires with a long trigger pull, single action, shorter, lighter trigger pull, and these guns can do both. Now, some of the advantages and disadvantages to double single action pistols are going to be that you do have a long initial trigger pull, unlike a striker fired pistol, so you do have two trigger pulls, but the advantage is, is that it's gonna be a little bit safer to appendix carry because you can hold onto that hammer when you reholster. You do have that long double action trigger pull as a safety that you don't ever have to worry about taking off, and then obviously you're gonna have a crisper, lighter trigger pull than the average striker fired pistol in single action. So I would consider them more of expert pistols, not for everybody, but really cool regardless. Now before we get into the video, I do wanna mention my Patreon supporters, thank you guys very much. It's because of you guys we have half the guns on the channel and we really appreciate it. Your support means a lot to us. We try to make content for you and not the industry, so if you like that, please go down to the description and sign up. Also in that description is a local shelter named Iowa. It's the YSS, those kids could really use your help, so please go down there and donate to those kids. Now, let's get right into it with number five, and we're gonna be talking about the H&K USP series. Now, I really like the H&K Expert in particular. It is the long slide version with all the fixins. although when we talk about these guns, we're gonna be talking about them as a platform. So, I mean the H&K USP long slide, I mean the, the standard size, I mean the compact, and if there's a sub compact, I mean that too. All of these guns are gonna have different variations, so if you want one for carry, or if you want one for duty, or if you want one for long range shooting and competition, they are going to be available, USP included. Now the USP is one of the most tested firearms in history. It has passed a series of military tests that would make most pistols squeamish. Very, very, very reliable, if not the most reliable platform ever made. And on top of that, it looks pretty cool too. Really big into pop culture because of its futuristic look in the 80s and 90s. In tons of action movies, but on top of that, carried by many special forces units, even today. Day, the German military uses a variation of this pistol. Now the Expert is my personal favorite. This one here comes with a full five inch slide, adjustable target sights, and an upgraded trigger. Now the USP trigger is not the best, don't get me wrong. You can see the double action is long and a little bit heavy. It makes up for it with bomb proof reliability and great looks. I really like the grip of this particular gun and accuracy is unquestionable. We're gonna be shooting at 100 yards. I think we're at about 130 yards now and we're gonna be shooting through some foliage. <laughs> yep. Now a lot of people take a while getting used to the USP and they say it's inaccurate, but the platform itself is extremely accurate. You just have to get used to the uh, ergonomics and the trigger a little bit. Now it does have the paddle release on the trigger guard, which is pretty cool. It takes a little getting used to for Americans, but it is ambi, so if you're left-handed, you can make it work. There are many variants of this gun, including different types of decockers. You can see here, we have a safe, we have a fire, and then we have a decocker on this particular pistol, but there are different variations so get whichever one you want. Now I do want to give an honorable mention to the P30, which is another H&K pistol. However, I think this one's more iconic. I think it's more tested. And I think overall it has a better track record than the P30, although the P30 is an absolutely excellent gun as well with phenomenal ergonomics and different variations of actions also. Now these pistols can be relatively pricey, but it's just because they're German, they say H&K on the side, and it's because of their lineage that they're so expensive. Uh, obviously build quality is top notch with the HK USP. If you're looking for a zombie apocalypse gun, it's hard to beat this, but the prices are gonna be a little bit expensive, going anywhere from 600 all the way up to $1,200. 
Now, in at number four, we have the Beretta M9 series. I really like the Beretta M9 series, and it's a lot different than some of these pistols on the list because it uses uh, the same action, but it uses a different lockup. It doesn't use the uh, tilting barrel lockup. It has its own system here with an open top, which gives it its own unique uh, recoil and pulse and its own unique problems, but for the most part, it's an excellent gun. The Beretta M9 is also a military firearm, was carried by the US military from the 80s all the way up until very recently, about five years ago, they're still being issued and used today. Now, my favorite is the M9A4. It's the most recent version of the uh, Beretta M9 series. However, any of them will work great. They have compacts that you can carry as well. They have lightweight models and they have competition models that are like 46 ounces that work awesome. The Beretta 92X Performance, I think is what it is, is a great gun as well. This one comes with a threaded barrel, a rail, and it obviously has the more upswept safety, which I would absolutely recommend. If you're going to get a Beretta, make sure you either get the upswept safety or the G model so you don't do the classic putting the safety on when you're racking the slide. However, there are techniques to avoid that as well. The triggers on these are great. There's incredible testing on these. There's incredible data on these. And they've been in every action movie since Jean-Claude Van Damme has been around. So I really appreciate the Beretta M9, what it did for the U.S. military. And I've shot them for years. I think they're accurate. I think they're reliable. I think they're fast. There are better guns in the world, yes, because I don't love the open top design. It leads to uh, material getting inside the gun when you don't want it and me burning my hand when I try to do my 1911 reload. But other than that, it's a phenomenal gun. It's a great suppressor host and a very interesting, beautiful gun overall and certainly worth the cash. You can get these anywhere from under $500 for the base model all the way up to $2,000 depending on how many bells and whistles you want on it. Now, in at number three, I went with the SIG P226 series. Now, the 226 is another heavily tested military pistol. This was carried by US Special Forces and many overseas, made famous by the US Navy SEALs. Tons of testing along with this pistol, and it was tested right along the Beretta M9, and those are open for the public. You can see the data on those. Very reliable, very accurate, very durable, and very multi-use handguns. It's a double single action pistol, again just like all the others uh, this is my particular legion series here this one has the uh, threaded barrel installed it's german so it's backwards good trigger has an absolutely great grip and again one of the absolute most reliable and durable pistols ever made very awesome gun and there are small ones available as well the sig 229 is famously carried by the u.s air marshals and they don't dick around very reliable gun heavy so if it doesn't work you can hit them with a snatch i'm showing my age you can get tons of variations that's one of the awesome things that sig provides you can get this in single action, you get this in double action, you can get the small ones, the big ones, and you can get any kind of features you want. They even have a new X5 competition model of this, which you're probably seeing the footage of right now because we had it last year. You can get them with optics, without optics, you can get them Cerakoted, or you can get them flat black, and I just really love the gun, and if you're looking for a reliable gun that shoots well in almost everybody's hands, it's hard to beat the 226. In at number two, we're gonna have one of my favorite guns of all time and one of my carry guns for years. We're gonna be talking about the CZ P07. Now the P07, I always highlight on my channel because I love the gun and my lists are my lists and my tastes don't change that much over the years and I still love the gun. Probably my favorite double single action carry gun ever. A great mix of size and weight, accuracy and durability. One of the most reliable, if not the most reliable gun we've ever had on the channel. It's been beat to crap. We've shot this in sand, mud, snow. I've shot this with tons of different types of ammo, steel cased ammo, brass cased, it works all the time, 147, 115. Have the double single action capability, so when I carry this appendix, I can hold the hammer and put it in my holster and not worry about it too much. We do have a Cajun Gunworks trigger in this, but the triggers in the CZs are very, very good as well. We have the internal slide rails with a very low slide mass and a very large frame. So it's a 28 ounce gun, but all the weight's right where it needs to be, so there's a very, very low recoil impulse when you actually fire the gun. Add that to a huge trigger guard, which is nice for my big hands, and for Iowa snowy conditions, it's very cold here a lot of the year, so that is one of the biggest reasons why I chose it. Now you do have the double strike capability like any other double single action pistol, but in particular, this gun just fits my hands so well. It was CZ's answer to the polymer gun way back in the day, 
They were making CZ-75s, Shadows. They were getting very popular. They needed a duty gun. They turned to the P07 and it did a great job for a long time. Just didn't catch on in popularity like a lot of the guns of modern day, the Glocks, the M&Ps. And I think that's because of the two types of trigger pulls. But that being said, if you're looking for a carry gun that's double single action, it's really hard to beat this. Now I'm not gonna do any honorable mentions because there are an awful lot of double single action pistols. And honestly, if you guys really like this, I plan on doing a part two where I just do another five. Probably focus more on the carry aspect of double single action instead of the duty or home defense aspect like I showed here. Cause there's a lot of subcompact and compact double single action pistols that I really like as well. That being said, all these models have big and small ones. The P07 has the P09, it's big brother. So if you're looking for a bigger version of that, you can do that as well. Let's get into number one here with Something I don't normally do. I like to pick a different brand for each number for the most part. That way I kind of highlight different ergonomics, different brands, different manufacturers. But today we didn't because there's only one obvious answer, the Shadow 2. The CZ Shadow 2, in my opinion, is the best double single action pistol ever made. I don't see how it couldn't be. Uh, for me personally, I've used this as my carry optics gun for years. I have more rounds through this pistol than I do any other pistols on my channel, and it just fits me like a glove. I really, really love this gun. The grip feels like it was made for me. It's one of the biggest bangs for your money that you can get. You can get into one of these for about $1,000, making it very cheap for most competition guns. Most competition guns run a lot more than that, and if you're gonna win, you're gonna end up paying a lot more than that even, but people win with these all the time. Again, due to CZ's internal slide rails, the mass of the slide is very, very light. It's got a 4.8 inch barrel, and it's a little bit shorter than your average five inch, so it does cycle a little bit faster. We have a huge dust cover on the bottom here, which holds weight on the bottom, a lot like those guys today running lights, and they don't even use them. They use them because it lowers the uh, a weight on the front there, and it reduces muzzle flip. Now, the trigger on this is insane, as again, I have tons and tons of rounds for this, as you can see here. It's the only gun I can fire as fast in 1911 or 2011, and plus I have double single action capability instead of just single action. So not only do you get the double strike capability, but you can shoot this in carry optics as opposed to limited optics, and it really does feel like you're cheating. You can get ambi safety, single sided safety, extended safety, you can get different grips, you can get different magazine releases, and you can get all kinds of different optic platforms. These are very popular. The magazines are readily available, and they are unbelievably reliable, unbelievably accurate, and the speed on these is second to none. For around $1,000 of an entry fee, I don't know why you don't own one of these yet, but this is my favorite double single action pistol. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support your Oklahoma shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.